Corey, sweet wheels, man. Yeah, I rented this DeLorean just for the video. Oh my God, let's hope it's got a flux capacitor because we need to get back to 1992 and find ourselves a reading edge. I'm driving. Ah! <laughs> 1992. Hello and welcome back to another Vision Forward Tech Connect video and boy are you in for a treat today. We've decided to take a dive back into the past and look at the Kurzweil Reading Edge and how it compares to some more modern devices, namely the Smart Reader and the Orcam My Eye. We're going to do a number of different challenges and see which machine comes out on top. So with that being said, Corey, hit it! So we're going to start off our challenge with reading an 8.5 by 11. That's obviously something that people generally want to do with their OCR device. And uh, have good feelings about the Kurzweil reading edge with this one. Corey, are you ready for your first challenge? I am. I am about to go back into 1992. Yeah. And let's rock this thing. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to hand you here an 8.5 by 11. Right. And let's see how the reading edge does with this. So I'm going to lift the top here because this is a kind of a scanning device. It's a bright light I can already see coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's green as well, which is It is green. Yeah. Ah. It is kind of crazy. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to hit the scan button on the remote. All right. Wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Now, for the sake of time, I can tell us right tell you right away, it's going to take a good three minutes or so <laughs> for it to process. Yep. So to save time, let's do a quick fast forward and resume back here in just a moment. Let's jump forward in time. All right, let's try it. Oh, not ready yet. All right, let's see again if it's ready to read. P-O-S-S-I-B-I-L-I-T-I-E-S, -S -I -I -E period. That spells possibility. Vision Forward <laughs> Technology and Education Center features innovative technology in real life work, Scopey and home environment. See first. Oh, Scopey. Scopey, those are so my favorite. So that was lovely deck talk reading back to us. If that's a throwback to the 90s, mm. uh, you don't hear that voice any longer. But it did scan it in. It took a while. Uh, and it is reading. Um, pretty accurate. You're it. Decent job. Yeah. That's why I had a, a teacher back in the 90s who sounded just like that. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Deck Talk? Hey, yeah. His name was Declan Talk. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, it seemed to do a pretty good job there, which is surprising because that's the first time it's done a, a good job uh, today, you know. Well, we cleaned it. We did. Yeah, I, I, I do believe it's been in someone's closet for many, <laughs> many years. But All right. What score would we like to give the, uh, the Kurzweil there? I'm gonna have to give it probably a five out of ten. If, once you, if you if you take in account yeah. speed mm -hmm. and accuracy, yeah. it, it's coming in at a five. Okay. Well, let's see how that compares with a modern OCR device, the Smart Reader. Corey, if I could have the eight and a half by eleven, please. Yep. Thank you, sir. And uh, now we're going to see how the Smart Reader um, works for the same page. task. All right, you be quiet, please. How the Smart Reader works for the uh, same oh. task. And uh, so number one, hopefully it'll be a little bit faster than <laughs> the Kurzweil was. Let's see uh, how we do here. I'm going to hit the button. There's the picture. Now, let's see how long this takes. Oh, turning left. <laughs> Vision forward. Oh. A Sausa Diet. Oh, Technology so. and Education Center. Connecting people with vision loss to possibilities. Yeah. Vision Forward's Technology and Education Center features innovative te technology in real bit. life work, school and home environments. See firsthand the assistive technology that I was going to say he needed a cup of coffee. <laughs> he did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was a little we, tired there. We for gave a him one. <laughs> so um, <laughs> let's see now. Um, seemed to do a pretty good job. I had a bit of a strange word in there, but uh, other than that, it seemed okay. I mean, obviously, being camera based instead of a scanner based, the mm -hmm. the the scan time, processing time was almost instant. So Much there faster. there's no fast forwarding on that one. Yes. Uh, and. It, and I do think, I think it was more accurate as yeah. well. How did you like the sound of the voice on there, Corey? I, I like that voice. Okay, so That's score it. for the smart reader then. You want me to give it? Yes, please. Okay, I will give the smart reader for speed and accuracy uh -huh. an eight. Okay, very good. So, so far, modern OCR devices in the lead. Yes. But who knows what's going to happen in the next round when we attempt to find a telephone number on a page. Let's do this. 
All right, well, we saw in the first task there that the new OCR device took the lead eight to five, but how will we fare with the next task, which is locating a phone number on the page? We're gonna start with the Kurzweil Reading Edge and see if Corey is able to locate the phone number. Now, we've already taken a picture of it, so we don't need to do that. We're just gonna get started here, and Corey's gonna use his navigation keys and try and locate the phone number. Take it away, Corey. Reading Edge has got a nice little uh, uh, remote keypad here, so we're gonna move line by line, and right. we are going to attempt to find the line where the, news, where the phone number is. That allows children, adults, and seniors who have trouble seeing access to a computer devices, newspapers and dash books, and so much more. Oh, so much more. <laughs> the center is also a resource for the community. Family members, visit. I'm gonna keep moving dash, down. Dash professionals, P, sit. 414-65-0127 or I-H-O-E. Well, I got mm. the number there. It was 414 615 uh, so I'm going to translate that to 414-615-0127. Excellent. Now, I think, though, Corey, it actually said 41465. Did it have Ooh, the one in there? Can let's find out? out. Let's find out. Or I or 414-65-0127. Oh, yeah. We got 414-65-0127. So... Um, I would have a hard time making a phone call in this time. Uh, you have to try uh, at least nine different combinations. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, because was it six, five, a number oh, or six a with a number? Yeah. Mm. So unfortunately, I'm going to I'm gonna have to grade this one. Well, let's see. There's uh, what a total of 10 numbers, and I got nine out of 10 numbers. <laughs> but I can't give it a nine out of 10. We're going to have to give it a three out of 10 because oh. there's no way to give it a call. I can't make the phone call. Brutal. <laughs> well, we got a three out of 10 there with the Kurzweil Reading Edge. So let's find out now how the Orcam compares for the same task. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Orcam here and wake it up. And we're going to use the Orcam Smart Reading feature. The Smart Reading feature allows us to ask the Orcam to locate a specific piece of information on the page. In this case, a telephone number. Let's give this a try. Putting the Orcam on, I'm going to initiate the Smart Reading function. Smart Reading. Find phone numbers. Found one phone number. Program assistant four one four six one five zero one two seven. I am division forward dot org. You know what? I'm gonna have to call that place immediately. Did a great job, Corey. It really did. I, not only did it give you the phone number, but it had to show off and give you an email address on top of it. You know, the all cam just never stops. I think that's the truth, because it's still talking. <laughs> um, I think that was really pretty fantastic. Corey, rating out of 10 there for the Orcam. I'm going to, honestly, I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. The ability to use that smart reader to not have to scroll through the entire page, but to just specifically say, all I want is phone number, and then to get that within... 25 seconds or so, it's got to be a 10 out of 10. Pretty amazing piece of technology. So sadly, again, for the Kurzweil, um, the Orcam has taken the victory here. And the Kurzweil is lagging behind with no wins versus the modern OCR devices with two wins. But who knows what's going to happen in the next challenge. Here on Tech Connect, we only ask the important questions. And the most important question of all is, which OCR device makes the best doorstop? Let's find out. Gonna have to give Reading Edge 10 out of 10 for this one. Barely even a contest. Well, here we are in the dark for another important task. This time we are going to find out how these different devices perform in low light conditions. Corey, I believe you have pre-scanned your document in low light conditions, so we're not cheating here. Yep. So let's find out how the uh, uh, Kurzweil reads. All right, we're gonna hit our reading button. Vision Forward Education Center connecting people with vision loss to possibilities. Vision Forward's technology and education, C-E-N-T-E-R, F-E-A-T-U-R-E-S-N. I am going to have to say yes. that it appears to almost scan better in low light <laughs> than it did in regular light. Although, 
Being a, a flatbed scanner with a lid, it's providing its own light source, so it really doesn't matter what nope. the light conditions are. So for low light performance, Corby, score of 10? I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. Very nice, very nice. Corby, if you'd care to turn off the machine I now. sure would, it's decided to do its own <laughs> scanning. <laughs> and if you could pass me the uh, page oh, yeah. out of that, and we're gonna see how the smart reader performs for the same task. Now the smart reader does have its own built-in light, which is currently shining on the document. So I think it's going to do pretty good here. Let's hit the... Allows children. Okay. Allows children. All right. Calm down. So let's go ahead and take a picture. Ready to scan. Mm, let's try that again. We're going to take a picture. There it is. Okay. Let's see how well it reads this document now. So here's the processing. processing. Technology PND, Vision Forward, Sication, Education Center, Connecting People with Vision Loss to Possibly Percent Eyes, Vision Forward's Technology and Education Center feature. So in this very scientific test, yes. I would say that the smart reader actually performed worse than the Kurzweil. I'm going to have to agree on you, with you on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a... Eight. Ooh. Okay, so, so far Kurzweil is ahead here, but we have one device left to test. So this is the OrCam. How is the OrCam going to perform in low light conditions? There's only one way to find out, of course. Put on the glasses. Let's take the document. We're going to point at it. Oh, so the lights came on. It did detect it needed to turn its lights on. Oh, listen to that. So, Corey, did, how did that do? I didn't hear a single mistake or weird punctuation mark. Well, I'm going to have to give OrCam a 10 out of 10 out of this one. I think it did the best uh, out of all three devices. Now, I will say, Corey, I do agree with you. However, I tried to do the stop gesture by holding my hand in front of the camera, okay. as I would normally do, and it didn't work because it couldn't see my hand. Do we want to dock any marks for that? Well, I suppose it doesn't turn its light on. It only turns it on when it's going to actually take the picture for reading. Right. So, yes, I think we should. I will give it a 9.999998. <laughs> Very good. Yep. So it seems that the orc hammer is the clear winner. So for the next challenge, we are asking the very important question, which device is the best device from the 1990s? Corey. I'm going to have to give the gnarly reading edge yep. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Victory. Cowabunga. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next task. There is no room for stopping on this show. And this time we're going to be taking a look at reading in the distance. Starting off with the Kurzweil Reading Edge. Corey, you ready for it? Yes, I am. I looked at the manual yep. uh, and it said when you want to do uh, any distance reading, you need two people. All right, one to hold up the unit, uh, possibly two. We'll see how heavy it is. <laughs> and then one person to lift the lid and hit the button. So here we go. Okay, I'm, going to, I'm going to... I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to lift it up here, point in the distance. Here we go, here we go. Oh no, let me uh, see if I can get the, the button here. You uh, your elbow. Okay, oh, got it. But here's the problem. Yeah. Uh, it, if you remember, it takes about five minutes <laughs> to sit here and do it. All right, I think we're, obviously the reading edge not made so much for distance uh, reading at all. I'm going to have to give it a, a negative one Aww. out of 10. Seems a little harsh, but uh, but fair, I would say. Definitely Cut. not the ideal reading device for the distance. But how will the OrCam fare for the same task? Well, let's find out here. We'll start up our OrCam. We're going to spin around and see if we can read the sign on the door to this room. Let me spin around here. Take a picture. Technology and Education Center. Some blocks of text are unreadable. Corey, we have identified we are in the Technology and Education Center. Marks out of 10 for the OrCam. I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. Fast, accurate, and that's probably a good 12 feet away, if not more. So I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. That's another solid 10 for the OrCam. Well, we're about to wrap up the video here, but before we do so, we're going to take some questions from the audience that were emailed over to us. So, Corey, are you ready for, for question time? Yes, I'm ready. All right, so question number one. I really want an OCR device that will be useful to protect me against burglars. 
uh, use as a weapon. Okay. Which which is the right OCR device for me? Cole, any it, ideas? It's funny how often we get this question. It really is. Uh, but I would have to say the uh, Kurzweil Reading Edge mm. would really be your best option. It does have the heft, although I will say it depends how strong you are because it's quite heavy to pick up it's the true. Reading Edge. So second place is going to go to the Smart Reader there. Okay. All right. I, I like it. Next question, uh, Bobby from Kansas has yes. written in. Thanks, Bobby. Uh, thanks, Bobby, and has said, I have a lack of storage in my kitchen and would very much benefit from something that I can use to read recipes and also hang bananas from. Oh. Which device do you think would be the best for this? Corey, any thoughts on this one? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a clear winner in this case. Yeah. Um, again, a question we get quite often. <laughs> yeah. Uh, always from Bobby, but <laughs> it is, uh, I'm going to have to go with the smart reader here. Smart reader uh, is, a, is a good winner. Yeah, it's got the nice camera there. You can rest a few bananas yeah. on there before. Not too many because it'll start. Pressure. Yeah, yeah so down, maybe but... like at least two bananas one either side, I think, would work <laughs> brilliantly for that. So thank you, Bobby. I appreciate the question. Yes. Um, uh, just a, a little side, I did try hanging some bananas from the oil cam it did not go so well so i would advise probably not doing that i can imagine the uh, next question we have is um from gene gene is writing from mars um, oh so hello gene and mars yeah. i think it might have been this a question thing. yeah i mean most likely this question is about something we did probably years ago it, could, it took a while to get here but let's <laughs> let's see if it's relevant <laughs> point. so gene from mars says uh and this one is specifically directed toward you oh says corey i yeah. i'm trying to read an alien script Oh. and haven't found an OCR device yet that's able to translate it. Do you know of any good OCR devices for this purpose? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah. I feel like I'm going to have to go with the reading edge for two reasons. Good. First, I think the voice is maybe closest to what is, uh, is Martian. Yeah, it sounds a little And like also, an I figure it didn't do so great with the English accuracy, <laughs> so maybe, maybe we had it set to Martian. Right, that could and be the so problem. And so I'm going to have to go the reading edge. Getting right. it, uh, but shipping it to her, in, uh, to Jean in, yeah. in Mars, that's going to be tough. Yeah, well, uh, eBay is your friend, Jean, so I would suggest <laughs> going on there. All right, thank you, everybody, for your questions. We appreciate it, and we hope that these little tidbits of information were helpful. All the tests are complete, and it is clear who the winner is this evening. I completely agree, Corey. Yeah, it is absolutely the reading edge. Wait, what? Yeah, think about <laughs> it. The voice, so crisp and clear. Crisp Accuracy, and clear. 100%. Portability, throw it in your pocket, walk around. <laughs> Come on now, it has to be the reading edge. You know what? Since 1992, things have not improved at all. <laughs> I say, let's get back to the 90s, people. All right, we, well, now that we're fast forwarding to present time, Obviously, the uh, the reading edge was good for 30 years ago, <laughs> but for, for today's OCR needs, your uh, modern OCR devices like the smart reader and the, the, the OrCam yeah. obviously are better. Hopefully we've just, uh, you know, obviously this is quite a jokey video, but hopefully we've made a point here how things have moved on in the last 30 years, you know? And while the reading edge is certainly not horrible by any means, I think that the OrCam and the smart reader definitely outperform it. And of course, you could also use your smartphone and an OCR app as well. Yeah, please use the comments below. Let us know what 1992 piece of technology you like to use. Uh, or let us know, did you use the Reading Edge or, or are you using a modern one today? Mm -hmm. um, also subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And don't forget, you can always get in touch with us and there are three ways to do it. First of all, you can give us a call 414-615-0103. If you want to email, you can do so, techconnect at vision-forward.org. And of course, you can visit us online at vision-forward.org. We hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Corey, we've got to get this thing back to the past. We've disrupted the timeline. Doc Brown was right. Oh. <laughs> what was that? That's a sound of him fading away. Is that what I should have my cane and be like? <laughs>